and I'm back with another house review and this is another house that you guys turned me on to when I put the call out to let me know about some people of color that were perfumers, owned perfume brands, perfume houses, owned perfume shops, creative director, I didn't care. I just wanted to know um, some businesses uh, to support because I'm an idiot and I don't pay attention to that sort of stuff. I never look at pictures of people or things like that. So I have never really known who anybody looks like unless they're on YouTube or something like that and they create a perfume. But now I'm starting to get educated. <laughs> and this house, oh my God. This is the house of Chris Collins and this is Renaissance Man. Do not let the name fool you. This is completely unisex. This is actually my scent of the day. And I already got a compliment on it today from a gal that went, Whoo! Whoa! And she's she's from Russia and she just she's like, I never compliment people on what they're wearing, but whatever you're wearing smells really good. <laughs> I was like, Why well, thank you. <laughs> and she didn't ask what the name was, but I told her anyway. It was Chris Collins. For some women, it might be a turn off to wear a perfume that has the word man in it. No differently than it might be weird for a guy to wear a poison girl or something. Because you're always worried, is somebody going to compliment me and ask me what I'm wearing and I got to go, uh, poison girl or renaissance man. <laughs> me, I don't care. I'll sing it at the rooftops. Renaissance man. That's what I'm wearing by Chris Collins. And I ain't afraid to tell nobody because it's damn good. And it's completely unisex. <sighs> I, I sprayed some on my hand too so that I wouldn't be having to sniff myself. Um, it's marine accord, bergamot, ginger, cinnamon, sage, honey, tonka bean, tobacco, and leather. And when you first spray it, it's all about the ginger, the bergamot, and the marine accord. The marine accord is very intense at first, but it mingles really well with the bergamot and the ginger. But I must say, at first, the top notes put me off. I'm not a big marine perfume kind of person. Usually, I have issues with that. It because um, there will be really good marine accords um, like this one will have more to it than just water. It'll have some vegetation in there. It might have a little bit of animalic aroma in it. And this one is that. And that is what at first put me off, but that's also what made me fall the frick in love with it. What I love about this Marine Accord is that you get its true accord. You get the salty brine of the ocean water. You get a hint of marine animals as a really big wave crashes over the beach and releases some of those aromas from deep in the ocean. Um, you get the aroma of some of the aquatic plants living on the ocean floor and in the sandy beaches. You get all of that with this Marine Accord. And that is what made me fall in love with this perfume hard. Because I was like, okay, I get it now. I get it. I get what a really good Marine Accord is supposed to smell like. And then you add the bergamot and the ginger, and it's truly stunning. Um... But I will say, my favorite is the deep dry down. It really only has two big stages. It's got that heavy, aquatic, oceanic type, uh, fruity, little spicy um, beginning. So, and as it, it makes its journey to the dry down, it doesn't stop at a mid-level for any length of time. It just kind of makes a slow descent into the dry down. And that's where it picks up the cinnamon, the sage, and the honey. They just become hitchhikers, if you will, stowaways 
on the way down to hit the tonka, the leather, and the tobacco. Now the leather is super subtle to me. It's much more about the tonka and the tobacco and the deep dry down. And it gets sweeter with that honey and the sage and the cinnamon add a little more spice. But you don't lose the ginger, the aquatic notes, and the bergamot. You don't lose those. They don't dry up and go away. They stay there. They just add to everything. It's just a flow to the deep dry down. Oh. This to me is formal. It's classy. It's distinct. It's unique. And I think it's completely unisex. I mean, I think this will appeal because that that marine accord note, I think most women are like what I was before this perfume. I just didn't get it. There's been a few like Healy, Sel Martin or Sel Marin. Um, I thought I liked for a minute and then I got that seaweed weird note and I didn't like it anymore. And I, that's happened to me with some other perfumes that I thought, oh, I might like this one. And then I'm like, mm, mm, no, this one. At first, nope. And then I was like, wait, wait, what's happening? And the dry down happened. And that whole journey. And then I was like, I need to wear this sample again. So I wore it again. Same thing. A little quicker this time, I was like, oh, well, and I was like, ugh, but the rest of that is pretty delightful. And then about the third or fourth time that I was testing it, I was like, holy shit, I get it, and this is pretty delightful. I Like I said, formal. I don't know, you probably could wear it during the day to formal business meetings or formal occasions, but I think this is more night and night formal. I don't think this is really a, a going out, partying, being getting drunk and stupid kind of a perfume. This is much more go to a piano bar or a cigar club and sit there and drink brandy in a snifter and uh, wearing this kind of a perfume. That's what this reminds me of. Classy. Not that smoking a cigar is classy. That's not what I'm saying. But I mean that whole dinner jacket, cigar in hand, brandy in the other hand, kind of a, I don't know. That's just what I envision when I smell this. Not when I wear it because I don't drink and I don't smoke. <laughs> and I don't usually wear a dinner jacket, but I have had one before. A men's vintage dinner jacket. I used to wear it in high school all the time. <laughs> I know I was into punk rock. It was weird. It was kind of an eclectic thing. Don't ask. But anyway, beautiful stuff. I have got Dante Sauvage coming. So let me tell you, Dante Sauvage was not a slow burn. That was quick fire. I fell in love with that immediately. That one shot me in the heart. And you're to blame. You give love a great name. <laughs> you like how I changed that a little bit? That's right. I'm creative like that. Don't forget it. <laughs> so anyway, I've got Dante Sauvage coming. And I am going to get Sweet Taboo. I'm probably going to get Autumn Rhythm too. I'm really in love with that one as well. I haven't tried any others yet. I didn't want to just, you know, start sniffing them all out real quick. I wanted to take my time. I wanted to ease into it. Give them each the time they are due before I made any kind of decisions. And it's like, okay, I've worked with that one. I want it. I've worked with that one. I want that one too. <laughs> You know how I am. <laughs> this is gorgeous stuff. Performance is really good on it. It projects easily arm's length. And I'd say it lasts, oh, six, seven hours. And that's within the Marine Accord. Um, I wouldn't class this as an aquatic, though. 
even though that marine accord is heavy. I wouldn't class it as a spicy or a gourmand. It's kind of in its own category, in my opinion. And I adore it. Absolutely adore it. I just wish the word man wasn't on there. And then I'm sure more women would grab it. There should be a Renaissance woman coming up soon. I hope he makes. <laughs> anyway, great stuff. Thank you so much for telling me about this house. Chris Collins is amazing. And um, he models for most of the perfumes. And I don't want to be tacky or um, inappropriate. But I just want to say... I hope he continues. I think it's good. I think the perfumes look good with him. It's like, wow, those perfumes are really intensely hot. <laughs> but I'm not being appropriate because I'm not talking about any people. I'm talking about the perfumes. The perfumes. <laughs> Anyway, you should check out this house. Amazing quality. And I'll be back to do a review of Dance Sauvage because my bottle should be here any day. And then I'll do a review once I get Sweet Taboo too. And then I'll do a review when I get Autumn Rhythm. And I don't want you thinking that I'm only just promoting Black Lives Matter, um, people of colors, business, whatever. Um, yeah, of course, that's part of it. I asked to be told some perfumers and um, I wanted to check them out and I have checked a lot of them out that you guys listed for me. I've either gotten samples or full bottles. And um, thing is, if it's quality juice, it's quality juice. If it's classy perfume, it's classy perfume. If it's light-hearted giggle juice, then that's what it is. I'm not telling you what to do. I am just opening a door so that you can see there's a lot more out there in the perfume world than sometimes we may realize. That's all. So, but I'm not going to lie to you either. I love this juice. I absolutely love it. Thank you for being here and thank you for the suggestions for Black Lives Matter perfumes. Oh my God, I am just mind blown on what I'm discovering. I'm just mind blown. And um, so thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ding, ding, ding the bell if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. <laughs> I don't know. I make these weird boys. I don't know. That was my deliverance voice, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Use your own nose. Peace.